From admiring glances to romantic advances, there are benefits to being a popular girl in the Big Brother house. But tonight, being popular means only one thing. You could be going home. Welcome to Big Brother. Previously on Big Brother, the four high school cliques, the athletes, the brains, the popular crowd, and the offbeat began to turn on one another. Technotronics, dude, you spelled shotgun. Are you serious? Who spelled it correctly? What do you want from me? I'm not a great speller. If you want to confront me, then do so. You create a lot of drama in the house, she and drama. All right, OK. With the cliques in turmoil, the house divided into two groups. But Ronnie was playing both sides. I think this is a good idea. I do. Oh, Lord. I thought Ronnie was the biggest dork in the house. Come to find out, he is playing everyone. At the head of household competition. Congratulations, Ronnie. You are the new head of household. The double crosser took control. Yeah! Laura tried to expose him to the house. He knows if he gets y'all to hate us and us to hate y'all, he's in the middle sitting pretty. He's not a target forever. She said, you're the one dividing the house. I've just been playing again. We play? Yeah. A game. Nice. At the nomination ceremony, Laura and one of her allies paid the price. I've nominated Jeff and Laura for eviction. He's obviously the rat now, and he put me up, so touche. But things took an unexpected turn. Are we all still talking game? No, Russell, we're not. Is that talking to you? You can't treat people like that and expect them not to want to, like, evict you. Ronnie worried that Russell was a bigger threat. Nobody in this house seems to like him. No. Nobody. And he contemplated backdooring him. There is a scenario. Both of you stay. With tensions high, the house guests battled for the power of veto. Jack, you win the power of veto. Now that Russell was vulnerable, his former allies contemplated taking him out. We don't want Russell in the house. Why? We might not He's going to win everything. But Jesse tried to be the voice of reason. This would be a mistake. At the veto meeting, Jeff saved himself, and Ronnie took Jesse's advice. Jordan, please. Leaving the other side of the house with more empty promises. Every single thing Ronnie's told me in this game is a lie. Who will be evicted from the Big Brother house? Jordan or Laura? And who will become the new head of household? Find out tonight, live on Big Brother. How many quarters are in an hour? Shut up, 45. <laughs> Jordan. Chen, welcome to Big Brother. It's day 19 inside the Big Brother house, and Ronnie, the video game expert and current HOH from the Brains Click, is proving to be a gamer in every sense of the word. Last week, he controlled the eviction and divided the house. This week, he rose to power and continued to play both sides, sending everyone on an emotional roller coaster. Ultimately, he targeted two members of the popular click. Now, Jordan, the waitress from Matthews, North Carolina, and Laura, the bikini model from Atlanta, Georgia, find themselves on the chopping block. One of them will be walking out of the house tonight. But first, Ronnie has spun a web of lies. But has he spun one lie too many? Unfortunately, I'm in a position where I have to do something that I really don't want to do. Jordan, please. This veto meeting is adjourned. I was absolutely relieved that I did not go up on the block. It felt nice to kind of breathe a little bit. Populars are done. I mean, clearly they're not popular in the Big Brother house. 
I decided that I'd put up Jordan as the pawn to get Laura evicted. I want Laura to go home because she is a huge threat to me. But I can promise you this, Russell most definitely is on my hit list. Ronnie, this was your chance to get Russell out of the house. What were you thinking, dude? Are you okay? Well, one of us is going home. I definitely feel betrayed by Ronnie. The original plan was to backdoor Russell. And of course, I get picked to go up on the block. Ronnie completely fooled me. Well, if I leave and you stay, you know what you have to do. And vice versa. It would be stupid to not send me home. I'm a tougher competitor. I'm a little bit wiser at the game than Jordan. But I'm still going to fight. I'm not dead yet. I'm really scared about Thursday. Do you think I'm going home? No, I think you're good. I'm serious. I think you're good. But then again, I would think Laura's a bigger threat than me, because she's smart. I don't know offense to you, but I think she is too. I want Jordan to stay. She's kind of like my break from the house, you know? She's just, you know, fun to talk to, makes me smile. I'm so glad you're here. If you weren't, I would be bored. I don't even know how I how me and you even started to like being. Me either. I think because we shared a room, and we'd There's stay up room. late at night talking. Maybe that's how. Like me, you could talk. Like I could tell you anything, and it doesn't even have to be about the game or the game. Like we just talk like to vent to each other. You know what I mean? Right. That's what I like. You know. We're like a package. Yeah, we are a package. Jeff is like my best friend in this house. He is such a nice person, and he has such a good heart. He kind of reminds me of me, but just a boy version of me. I would miss him if I did get evicted. I keep playing with my hair. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You want me to play. braid it? Yeah, you know how to braid. No. <laughs> Jordan's my best friend in the house, but unfortunately, survival in this game will always come before a friendship. So I'll tell Ronnie whatever it takes to survive. I don't want to campaign too hard. I do want to stay in this house desperately, yeah. obviously. But the only thing I want to make sure that you know is that this week, if I, if I leave, you're leaving two people in the game that are playing together and that will come after you. Jeff has been vocal about it. Yeah. And the only thing I can tell you is that you know, I can promise you safety. Yeah. You know, I can be here to help you. I think I'm better as an ally than Jordan is. Yeah. It would be easier to persuade Jeff to do what we need him to do if Jordan was gone. So Jeff is not voting to evict Jordan? No. Never? No. Michelle and possibly Shima, I might be able to convince them to switch their votes. Mm -hmm. The deal that Laura was offering me was interesting to me because there's one less person that was coming after me and it was going to leave pretty much just Jeff, the only one in the house that was going to come after me. Jesse's gonna be the key. You gotta convince Jesse. Because if Jesse switches, Natalie will switch. Yeah. L Lydia would we'll switch, switch too. And if Lydia switches, Kevin switches. But don't you think Jesse may be a lost cause, honestly? Jesse's concern is that you would put him up. I wouldn't put Jesse up. Tell him, though. Tell him. Yeah. We're basically talking evicting Jordan. Yeah. Okay.